Hello everyone and welcome back to episode 12 of Project Live Fully. To all of you that have been following along with us each week, Gabe, Desiree, mom and dad, friends and family, whoever is out there watching, thank you so much for the support. We're so happy that we've able to been able to bring it this far and we're so excited to continue to see the growth in ourselves and our group of followers and in the work that we're doing. So thank you again. We really appreciate it. Starting this week, this was another very busy week filled with, I think I worked 60 hours at the day job last week, then we were helping family move, we tried to spend some time with my parents uh, for the holiday and my grandparents and my fiance's family and that was all really great, belated happy Father's Day to everybody out there. Um, and we had a good week and we were able to do a little bit of more photo challenge stuff and get out of the house and go get the dog out and do some shooting. And it was a good week all around, but definitely a busy one. So using the format that we had discussed last week of trying to set some goals of what I wanted to try to accomplish this week, I'll try to run through those a little bit here. So the first goal was to create a lesson plan. Similar to the goals, I'd like to have a lesson plan, an outline, kind of like a chapter by chapter sections and goals of trying to help me understand where I'm going to go next and what all of these things that I'm learning or how they're organized from gear and techniques and theory to things about journalism and storytelling and scuba and adventure and learning about successful National Geographic photographers from the past. There's just so much out there to learn and it's nice to try to organize it in some way. So I have put that into an outline form. I'm probably gonna be scrolling through it some here in the video, so that's what that is. And I'm excited to go into the second goal, which was to go through my mentor's tasks, where the first one is to finish that lesson plan. So we'll get his input and he'll let me know what he thinks missing, what he thinks is extra, what is out of order, and we'll start creating more of these weekly assignments and trying to shape my growth that way. And so all of that is really exciting just to have a plan and feel like you're always moving forward. So being able to check these things off the list like a video game is really, really helpful for me, at least to keep me motivated. Um, additionally, he had asked me to start reading Ansel Adams' book, The Negative. It's actually part two of this series. Here it is here. There's a first one and a third one. I really enjoy the book so far. It's actually a kind of a tough read for me, trying to make sure that I'm comprehending everything that Ansel Adams is explaining in there, but you're learning from one of the greats, so that's always exciting, and I'll definitely have to check out his other two books as well. Then we did the research for the creamy water texture photo. That went pretty well. I wasn't able to actually go out and buy the new ND filter just because of the budget concerns, but I think I really understood and was able to practice and get a feel for what the ND filter was supposed to help with by being able to bring down the exposure, even though you're doing a longer exposure and slower shutter speed to try to get that motion and the blurred effect on the water. But even at a normally low ISO and aperture, you need the extra filter to bring down the dark of the light so that it's not overexposed when you're exposing for that long. Um, and I haven't used any auto mode in the last week, so that was good. Goal three was to introduce Joseph Morris. I'll probably pop something about his intro video up over here. If you haven't had a chance to go watch it, please do. He's a really great guy. He has this amazingly diverse set of experiences and background in all sorts of art. And his goal is just fantastic. All about helping the community, like this whole project in general, and trying to help people be able to achieve their goals, specifically in art. And I think he's gonna get along great with the rest of the team, and he's just doing some amazing things. Speaking of doing amazing things, Jay is literally traveling across the country right now with his girlfriend, living out that nomad lifestyle in a van, traveling from state to state. Um, I think he's got another f six weeks or something like that that he's gonna be out there in the van and hopefully we'll get some content to put out from him doing that. And I know Ray was traveling with his wife and so everybody's doing some good stuff. Goals four and five are all about trying to research how to be better. So it's researching growth for social media, but also researching Premiere Pro editing skills and camera basics and things of that sort. Throughout the week, I was able to finish that eight hour Premiere Pro course, which I'm really excited to have done. It really gave me a much better insight into some of these basics where I didn't realize it's like I knew what the terms were, were like with marking in and out and how to do these different cutting and editings. But now I feel much more powerful in learning about ways to use them properly. 
So that's really cool to have and I'm excited to be able to put that into use. I wanna re-edit these scuba videos that I've made and see if I can do a better job as we keep moving forwards here. And additionally, I need to get that real estate video out. I still haven't figured out how to get it to the right length, but that's gonna come along too. Um, additionally, I'd set those benchmark goals where I wanted to. I haven't made any new photo sessions. I haven't made the thousand dollars, no new money coming in, but the photo challenge is growing really well. We're now at around 60 members. It's officially bigger than both of our two YouTube channels combined. And as for my goal of getting to 20 posts on a single weekly challenge, we got about 13 last week. So I'm sure we're going to hit it this week and maybe we'll even hit the hundred by the end of this week. Uh, for 100 followers on the photo challenge. Moving forward for this week, my plan is to continue researching those basics, keep reading the book for my mentor task. I'm gonna try to focus on the exposure triangle and really find a way to demonstrate my understanding of those topics so that I can solidify to him and to myself that I actually understand aperture and ISO and shutter speed and how what those do to the image kind of along with what we were talking about with the ND filter is knowing what each of these things actually does. Um, and then keep trying to work on getting the videos that we're doing out, polish off this lesson plan, make it a little bit better, and then just keep moving forward telling the story and trying to work with all of you. So that's pretty much it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. To continue to support the channel, Please subscribe to this channel here at Project Live Fully. Subscribe to my individual channel over at Joshua Wolf, link down below. We'll also link Joseph Morris's um, social media as well as Jay and Ray's. So please do follow us all on those different platforms. And to continue to support us, please like this video, share the video, and comment down below if you've made it this far and let us know why you're sticking around, what we can do to be better, and everybody has those dreams that they would like to accomplish, so we would love to hear what yours are. So please share with us, and we look forward to hearing from you. Uh, see you next week. Bye, everybody.